Bill Coy for Straight Circle Martial Arts. This is finding the correct angles for strength in martial arts. And when you do forms, usually you see positions like this, right? Or positions like this, or positions like this, you know, when you're doing things. The reason for that is this is where the strength of the body is. It's in the center of your core, and your arms are extended a little bit. Every time you come back, your arms get weaker. So if he goes like this and he makes a fist, and I have him punch, and he tries to push as hard as he wants to, there's nothing there because his elbow is behind his body. And there's no strength there. And that happens sometimes. You know, when he grabs me, ideally what I want to do is I want to maintain that there where I have strength, where I can work against him because that's the strongest part of the body. But inevitably, you run into times where you don't end up there because he countered you or something happened. So let's say he caught me and he pushed in. Now, there's where people mess stuff like this up. What they do is they try to fight from this position right away because they're panicked. But look where my elbows are. If he leans into me, he's strong. I'm not moving him. I'm not. So what happens is if he's really strong, what I need to do is reestablish. Now watch. I'm going to take a step. See how my elbows reestablish? Now I'm strong again. That's really what it is. You want to learn to get from here back to where you belong. So if he has me pinned, look, I'm going to come this way. I got my elbows out in my core of my center now. Now I have strength and I can work. It's always the same. You know, in fights, people instinctively do this. They don't even know why they're doing it. When you push someone or you push someone, what you're trying to do is destroy their strength and their posture and their position. You know, you watch people in fights, they do it instinctively. They don't even know. They push or they grab or they pull and they're just destroying them as a person. But when they're doing that to you, you have to understand that's what's going on. If I get pushed, right, and I'm trying to fight from this position, there's a position of weakness. I have to reestablish myself to a position of strength before I can do anything. So anytime you're pulled or pushed, right, I have to reestablish position to where I can do something. Right? That's how it works. If you don't do that and you fight from positions of weakness, you're in trouble. Now, just quick, let me explain how this works. People panic and they want to immediately counter. So he grabs me and I want to go because I'm afraid for myself. An advanced fighter understands when they're in a position of weakness. If he leaves his hands down and I'm not in a position of weakness, I'm just going to hit him because I'm in a position of strength. But the minute he puts me in a position of weakness, I have to understand that. And I have to understand, hey, how do I get to that position of strength first? And then I want to counter my... You just... If you don't have the, the calmness to put yourself in a little better position first, your strikes and your joint locks and your kicks will never be great. Because when he comes in and he grabs me, you see I'm not in a position where I can hit him well. I mean, there's nothing. I'm jammed. But if he grabs on, I'm like, I shift. Now look, I create a position of strength. See, I got to here. I created strength and position. Now I'm in a position to let him have it. But if you get in the habit of just going, oh my God, i got to hit him. And I see so many people do that under stress. They just swing and hope. That's not enough. You have to be strong enough in your mind to understand, look, I created a position of strength, and then I'm going to take advantage of it. Positions of strength come from a lot of things. They come from me either moving into position, off balancing him when it pushes. I can hook him and grab him and push him again, and then create position of strength. You know, the more I bounce him around, the more strong I am, because he's not. But conversely, he's trying to do that to me. So remember, in everything you do in life, you never bargain from a position of weakness. Never. Always come to a position of strength first. If you feel like you're not in a position that feels good for you, you need to get to that good position, set yourself properly, so that you can do your work. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave comments, ask questions. The channel's received tremendous growth as of late, and I truly appreciate everything all you guys have done for me.